Erev Tov, my name is Stephen Ben-Danoon and you're watching Israeli News Live. Again, in recent weeks, Israel has had to bomb targets inside of Syria after a jeep exploded on the Lebanese-Israeli border uh, that injured four soldiers. Israel retaliated against Syria for aiding in this attack by attacking ba uh, military batteries and bases, training bases in Syria. Abbas says this is only heightening the already fragile tensions in the Middle East and complained to the United Nations that Israel was being aggressive that could bring to a volatile situation. Um, anyway, in further news, uh, we have going on, uh, speaking of the, um, the attack there, on the, on the Israeli border, there was uh, some other news that I felt that was very important for you guys to be able to see. Uh, that was in an article with uh, Israel Na Israel's National News. Uh, no Northern commands warn situation with Hezbollah explosive. And this is on the Lebanese-Israeli board up in the Golan Heights is where this takes place at here. The IDF official says Israel would not limit itself to airstrikes. Use of all its capabilities in the event of a third Lebanon war. Uh, Yari Golan, the major general of the Northern Command, has warned the world at large that Israel's situation with Lebanon is extremely volatile. The situation on the border with Lebanon is explosive, and the smallest spark can cause a border clash. Even if neither side is looking to engage in fighting, Golan told French newspaper La Figaro on Tuesday. Golan who provided the interview before three IDF soldiers were injured in a bomb attack in the Golan Heights, which appears to have been attempted kidnapping. Also noted that the Sunni jihads in Syria had turned their eyes against Israel. After Assad, Israel will be their next target, the general stated. The reason I wanted to bring this particular article to your attention, as we said in the Vatican series, that the Vatican actually created Islam, something we had learned from Alberta Rivera, who was a former Jesuit of 27 years that brought out this secret teaching from the Vatican that Islam was indeed created by the Vatican for the purpose of bringing down the early uh, uh, Jewish Christians that were spreading the gospel in Northern Africa and through the Middle East with some, some great success at that. So they turned, they created this religion in order to bring down those Jewish believers that had believed in Yeshua or Jesus of Nazareth. Then it has escalated. Of course, eventually, the uh, Islam converted into two different factions, the Sunnis and the Shiites. Well, the Sunnis have always sided with the Vatican. The Shiites have always been against the Vatican. It's partly why we saw the war in uh, Iraq with Iran, when Saddam Hussein was put into power, he's put into power a Sunni leader after the, um, after the Catholic uh, Jesuit uh, college or, or institution schooling that was in Iraq was thrown out years before him. Then the government went to working on bringing in a new leader. Saddam Hussein, the Sunni leader that was put up in place, put into power by the United States. We also find that Saddam Hussein, who is a Sunni leader, ended up going to war with Iran. But in this case, he put his uh, Shiite Muslims in the forefront to fight the battle against the, uh, the Iranian Shiites as well. The Vatican only wanted to kill off the Shiite race. The Sunnis, though, have always been there battling for the Vatican at whatever will they so desire. So it only stands to reason once the Vatican can force Israel into a two-state solution they will turn on the Palestinians and take what they're getting, and as well as they will turn on Israel as well. So as the general points out, General Golan, the Sunnis have their eyes on Israel next. That's the Vatican's army, part of it anyway. The United Nations and the U.S. are also her military force. My name is Stephen Ben-Danun with Israeli News Live, Erev Tov, and good evening.